I want to be talking about uh, assessing fields in terms of drought stress. Uh, a few weeks ago we've talked about uh, how leaves flip over and uh, maybe some stagnant growth. And as you walk by or drive by fields, they're going to be looking like they're, they're just fine. In this particular field and area, uh, walking through, beans are up to my knees, uh, not looking too bad. As I look down, uh, we're coming into a R3, so the first pod is developing. As you walk the fields, look closely at the, the base, and you'll start to see some of these areas, if they're truly deficient in water, the lower leaves are going to start dying. The lower leaves are starting to uh, senesce, how they're starting to, to dry out. This particular lower leaf, you'll see this, this general yellowing color. Coming down to the attachment point right here, if there was flowers and pods that were developing, and actually there were, they're no longer being fed. In other words, these were already desiccated and they just fell off as I was moving toward there. So this plant that has a little bit of a green area, it's already cut ties to those pods and no longer feeding them. So that's kind of the first stage you'll see. Then that yellowing will progress to this browning color, kind of a, a blotchy appearance. And usually it's going to start on the lower leaves and work its way up. These are older leaves. And so the plant is deciding to shed those to maintain the upper leaves. Anything associated with that, that leaf as it's attached to the main stem uh, will no longer be fed. And so the loss of pods and flowers are certainly at that point. Progressing to the, the worst stage of just total plant death of that leaf. And it may even hang on a little bit, but as you look toward where the flowers were and the developing pods, they're hanging on, but if you just take your hand there, they literally just fall off easily. I didn't have to pull at all. So if you're trying to assess whether you have developing pods that are going to maintain or not, even on an area that maybe has just a yellowing leaf, you barely even touch it. Those pods and developing pods are going to literally fall off. As you continue to walk the field, you'll certainly find pockets uh, that are starting to wilt down and, and be drier. We've got some sand pockets here that are behind me. Now walking into this, you can certainly take a look at smaller plants. So the plant wasn't able to grow fully like it, it normally does. It starts to senesce or drop the lower leaves and progress up the plant. It comes to a point where it can no longer survive. Most of those leaves are dropped off and we have plant death. 